Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from our channel Who Died Today America. In this video we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away in the last few days. Before we proceed we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 18. Marianne Trump Barry, a prominent federal judge and the elder sister of former President Donald Trump, passed away at the age of 86. The news of her death was confirmed though the cause and exact date were not immediately disclosed. Born on April 5, 1937, Barry made significant strides in her career, distinguishing herself in the legal field. She was appointed to the United States District Court for the District of New Jersey by President Ronald Reagan in 1983. Later, in 1999, she was elevated to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit by President Bill Clinton showcasing her respect across the political spectrum. Barry's tenure as a federal judge was marked by her commitment to justice and her ability to navigate complex legal issues with acumen. Despite her familial connection to the political realm, she maintained a reputation for her judicial independence and integrity. Outside the courtroom, Barry was known for her private nature, focusing on her professional achievements rather than public life. Her passing marks the end of a notable career in law and leaves a legacy of judicial service and dedication. Number 17. Kevin Turan, a renowned film producer known for his work on critically acclaimed projects like Euphoria and The Idol, passed away at the age of 44. His death was confirmed by his father, Edward, who expressed a profound sense of loss, stating, This world is going to be less without him. The details regarding the cause of his death were not disclosed. Born in New York City in 1979, Turan emerged as a significant figure in the entertainment industry. He co-founded Little Lamb Productions with Euphoria creator Sam Levinson, collaborating on several notable projects. His portfolio included influential films such as Pieces of a Woman, starring Vanessa Kirby and Shia LaBeouf, and The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Turan's career was marked by his passion for storytelling and his dedication to the craft of filmmaking. He was deeply committed to his family, particularly to his wife Evelina and their two sons, Jack and James. His untimely demise is a significant loss to the film community, where he was regarded as one of its brightest talents. His legacy in the world of cinema, defined by innovative storytelling and a commitment to excellence, will continue to inspire future generations. Number 16. Abe Stoklasa, a talented songwriter and musician known for his contributions to the country music scene, passed away. Details regarding his age at the time of death, the cause and the exact date of his passing have not been widely disclosed. Stoklasa's impact in the music industry was marked by his songwriting prowess, collaborating with prominent artists in the country genre. He co-wrote notable songs for artists such as Billy Currington, including the hit It Don't Hurt Like It Used To, which reached the top of the country charts. His ability to craft lyrics that resonated with a wide audience made him a sought-after songwriter in Nashville. In addition to his songwriting, Stoklasa was also a skilled musician, contributing vocals and instrumental talent to various projects. His collaborative nature and creative spirit made him a beloved figure among his peers in the music community. The news of Abe Stoklasa's passing is a significant loss to the world of country music. His contributions as a songwriter and musician have left an indelible mark on the genre, and his work continues to influence both artists and fans alike. Number 15. Brandy Mallory, known for her inspiring journey on the reality TV show Extreme Weight Loss passed away at the age of 40 in Stone Mountain, Georgia, on November 9th. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed her passing, though the cause of death was not disclosed. Mallory gained fame on the 2014 season of Extreme Weight Loss, where her commitment to overcoming health challenges captured the hearts of viewers. Her journey was spurred by the passing of a sorority sister, motivating her to embark on a transformative path. At her heaviest, Mallory weighed about 329 pounds and achieved notable success on the show, including completing a demanding half Ironman challenge. Beyond the screen, Mallory was a professional makeup artist who continued to inspire through her passion for dance and fitness. 
She often shared her experiences and expertise with her followers on Instagram, promoting a message of health and positivity. The loss of Brandy Mallory is deeply felt within the fitness and reality TV communities. Her spirit and dedication to health and body positivity have left a lasting impact, inspiring many to embrace their personal journeys with courage and determination. Number 14. Ola Dips, the Nigerian rapper known for his poignant storytelling and socially conscious lyrics, tragically passed away at the age of 28. The news was shared by his management on Instagram, expressing deep shock and revealing that Oladips had been privately battling personal issues for two years. Oladips, whose real name was Oladipupo Olabode Oladimeji, rose to fame in 2015 after winning the King Is Here rap competition hosted by Nigerian music icon D. Banj. He quickly became known for addressing critical issues like the NSARS protests against police brutality and mental health challenges through his music. His ability to weave these themes into his rap was greatly admired, with fans commending his top-notch storytelling. The rapper was poised to release his new album, The Memoir, with his last single titled, Die Young. His unexpected death has sent shockwaves through the Nigerian music community, with tributes pouring in, including from Big Brother Nija contestant Hermes Ayela, who expressed condolences to Oladips's family. Oladips's passing, coming just a few months after the death of fellow musician Mobad, has left a void in the Nigerian music scene and sparked countrywide mourning. His legacy as a talented artist who used his platform to shed light on critical societal issues will continue to inspire. Number 13. Roger Castell, the celebrated artist famed for creating the iconic Jaws movie poster, passed away at the age of 92. Castell's passing marks the end of a prolific career in illustration, where he left an indelible mark on both the art and film worlds. Born on October 31, 1933, Castell gained widespread acclaim for his Jaws poster, which became one of the most iconic images in film history. The haunting image of a shark rising from the depths towards an unsuspecting swimmer captured the essence of the thriller significantly contributing to the film's success and enduring legacy. Castell's talent extended beyond movie posters. He was also known for his work in book cover art, including the cover for Jaws, which he created before the film adaptation. His other notable works include the Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back poster, and numerous covers for pulp novels and magazines. Castell's contributions to art were not just limited to his professional achievements. He was a mentor to many aspiring artists, sharing his expertise and passion for illustration. His works, characterized by dramatic imagery and masterful technique, continue to inspire and captivate audiences. Roger Castell's death is a significant loss to the art community, but his legacy will live on through his iconic creations and the generations of artists he influenced. Number 12. Ken Squire, the legendary broadcaster renowned for his indelible contributions to NASCAR and sports journalism, passed away at the age of 88. Squire, known for coining the phrase, the great American race for the Daytona 500, died in hospice care in his hometown of Waterbury, Vermont. His death was confirmed by WDEV, the local radio station he owned. Squire began his illustrious career with CBS in 1973 and was instrumental in the network's groundbreaking live coverage of the Daytona 500 in 1979, a pivotal moment in NASCAR history. This event, particularly memorable for the snowstorm that kept much of the country indoors, captivated millions of viewers and elevated the sport's profile. His unique storytelling ability and deep understanding of motor racing brought NASCAR's thrills into homes across America. Squire's signature style of narrative broadcast was not just informative, but also imbued with a sense of drama and humanity, making him a beloved figure among racing fans. Inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2018, Squire's voice became synonymous with motorsports. Beyond broadcasting, he was a significant figure in local Vermont community, contributing to its cultural and civic life. Ken Squire's passing marks the end of an era in sports journalism, but his legacy and influence in NASCAR broadcasting will endure for generations. 
number 11. Carl Tremblay, the charismatic lead singer of the Canadian band Les Cowboys Fringant, passed away at the age of 47 from prostate cancer on November 15th. Born in Montreal on October 28, 1976, Tremblay, along with Jean-Francois Pose, founded the band that would become a significant cultural force in the French-speaking world. Under Tremblay's leadership, Les Cowboys Fringant rose to fame in Quebec in 1999, known for their lyrical depth and captivating performances. The band sold over 1,300,000 albums, making a profound impact on the francophone music scene. Tremblay's lyricism and stage presence endeared him to fans, marking him as a true crowd leader. Apart from his music career, Tremblay was involved in the entertainment industry, reviewing video games on the TV show Mnet, and serving as the creative director for Triple Boris Inc., a studio developing video games and mobile apps. Tremblay's personal life was closely intertwined with his professional one, as he was married to marie Annick Lepine, an instrumentalist in Les Cowboys' Fringant. Diagnosed with prostate cancer in January 2020, Tremblay bravely battled the disease, which eventually led to the cancellation of several shows. His death is a significant loss to the music world, leaving a legacy of passion, creativity, and influence in Quebec's cultural landscape. Number 10. Dex Carvey, the elder son of renowned comedian Dana Carvey, sadly passed away at the age of 32. His death, which occurred on November 5th, was confirmed by Dana Carvey and his wife, Paula Zwagerman. They revealed that Dex died from an accidental drug overdose, a devastating loss for the family. Dex Carvey was a rising talent, much like his father. He ventured into the world of comedy and entertainment, showcasing his skills in various performances. Notably, Dex opened for Dana Carvey's 2016 Netflix special, Straight White Male 60. His burgeoning career in comedy hinted at a promising future, reflecting his unique style and potential. Apart from his professional pursuits, Dex was known for his vibrant personality and love for life. His parents fondly remembered him as someone who made everything fun and cherished his relationships with family, friends, and his girlfriend, Kaylee. Dex's untimely passing has left a void in the lives of those who knew him, remembered for his talent, warmth, and the joy he brought to every room. Dex Carvey's legacy lives on through the memories shared by his loved ones and his contributions to the world of comedy. His passing serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by individuals struggling with addiction. Number 9. Charlie Dominici, former vocalist of the progressive metal band Dream Theater, has passed away. Known for his pivotal role in the band's debut album, When Dream and Day Unite, in 1988, Dominici's death was shared by Dream Theater's drummer Mike Portnoy in a heartfelt social media post. Dominici's tenure with Dream Theater, though brief, was impactful. His voice and songwriting, along with his skills on guitar and keyboards, were instrumental in shaping the band's early sound. Despite parting ways with Dream Theater in 1989, he maintained a friendly relationship with the band members, reuniting for performances and supporting their endeavors over the years. Portnoy reminisced about Dominici's continued friendship, including performing at his wedding in 1994 and reuniting for the 15th anniversary of When Dream and Day Unite in 2004. He also acknowledged Dominici's support for his return to Dream Theater, highlighting their recent communication and Dominici's excitement for the band's future. Number 8. Suzanne Shepard, a seasoned actress known for her roles in Goodfellas and The Sopranos, passed away at the age of 89. Her family confirmed her death, leaving a legacy as a talented character actress in both cinema and television. Shepard was renowned for her portrayal in Martin Scorsese's mob classic Goodfellas, and her memorable role in the critically acclaimed series The Sopranos. Her performances in these iconic productions earned her recognition as a versatile and skilled actress. Her acting career spanned over three decades, starting with her role as Aunt Tweety in the 1988 film Mystic Pizza. Shepard's filmography also included appearances in Requiem for a Dream, Uncle Buck, and Lolita. On television, she featured in shows like Law and Amp Order and Blue Bloods, showcasing her range as an actress. In addition to her on-screen work, 
Shepard contributed significantly to theater, directing plays across the United States, and was also respected as an acting coach from her studio in New York. An upcoming documentary titled A Gift of Fire is set to chronicle her influential teaching career. Suzanne Shepard's death marks the loss of a talented and impactful figure in the acting community, remembered for her impactful roles and dedication to the craft of acting. Number seven, former First Lady Rosalind Carter, an influential advocate for mental health, caregiving, and women's rights, passed away at the age of 96 on November 19th. She died peacefully at her home in Plains, Georgia, surrounded by family. Rosalind Carter's marriage to Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States and the 2002 Nobel Peace Prize recipient, spanned 77 years. President Carter expressed deep admiration for his wife, acknowledging her as his equal partner and constant source of support and love. Survived by her children Jack, Chip, Jeff, and Amy, along with 11 grandchildren and 14 great-grandchildren, Rosalind Carter's legacy extends beyond her immediate family. Her grandson's passing in 2015 marked a moment of sorrow in her life. Chip Carter, reflecting on his mother's impact, highlighted her role as a compassionate humanitarian. Rosalind Carter's dedication to public service and her efforts to improve mental health care and resources for caregiving have left an indelible mark. Her example of service and compassion stands as a beacon for all Americans, and her absence will be profoundly felt by not only her family, but also by the many lives she touched. Number six, Joss Ackland, the distinguished English actor with a career spanning over six decades in film and television, passed away on November 19th at the age of 95. Ackland's remarkable journey in the acting world was marked by a range of versatile roles, earning him a BAFTA nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in White Mischief. Born on April 10, 1935 in London, Ackland joined the prestigious Old Vic Theater, sharing the stage with legends like Maggie Smith and Judi Dench. His television work was equally impressive, with memorable roles in Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. His filmography included significant parts in films such as The Sicilian, Lethal Weapon 2, The Hunt for Red October, and White Mischief. Ackland's personal life was intertwined with his career. Married to Rosemary Kirkcaldy in 1951, they faced challenges together, including their eldest son's tragic death. Ackland's final acting stint was a memorable performance as King Lear at the Old Vic in 2013. Joss Ackland leaves behind a legacy of exceptional talent and resilience, having graced screens and stages with unforgettable performances. Number five. Sara Tavares, the celebrated Portuguese singer, composer, and musician, passed away at the age of 45 on November 19th in Lisbon, following a long battle with a brain tumor. Born on February 1st, 1978, Tavares was renowned for her unique blend of African, Portuguese, and North American influences in her music. A second-generation Portuguese of Cape Verdean descent, Tavares demonstrated exceptional musical talent early in her life. She gained national recognition in 1994, winning the national television song contest Chuva de Estrelas with her rendition of Whitney Houston's One Moment in Time. That same year, at just 16, she triumphed at the Festival de Cancao, leading to her participation in the Eurovision Song Contest with Chamara Musica. Known for composing in Portuguese and Creole languages, Tavares won numerous accolades including a Portuguese Golden Globe for Best Portuguese Singer. Her music, a fusion of cultures, played a significant role in bringing African influences to mainstream music in Portugal. Sarah Tavares's passing is a profound loss to the music world. Her artistry and courage in facing her illness will continue to inspire, and her legacy will endure through her music and the impact she made on the fusion of cultural sounds. Number four, Carlton Pearson, a renowned American Christian minister and gospel artist, passed away at 70 on November 19th after a battle with cancer. Known for leading Tulsa's Higher Dimensions Evangelistic Center, Pearson was a significant figure in the Pentecostal movement. Born in San Diego, California in 1953, Pearson attended Oral Roberts University, where he was mentored by Oral Roberts. 
He established his church in 1981, which became one of Tulsa's largest congregations. However, his career took a controversial turn when he embraced the doctrine of universal reconciliation, leading to his marginalization in evangelical circles. Pearson's impact extended to gospel music, where he won two stellar awards. Despite controversies, he remained a prominent figure in spiritual circles, known for his inclusive approach to faith. His personal life included marriage to Gina Marie Gauthier and their subsequent divorce. He is survived by his two children, Julian and Majeste. Pearson's passing marks the end of an era in American religious leadership, characterized by his unique approach to ministry and inclusivity. Number three, Annabel Giles, a versatile British television and radio presenter, author, and counselor, passed away at 64 on November 20th after a battle with glioblastoma. She died at Martlett's Hospice in Hove. Born on May 20, 1959, in Griffithstown, Wales, Giles first made headlines when she was expelled from boarding school at 16 for attending a concert. Giles's career in the media began in the 1980s with appearances on shows like Razzmatazz and Night Network. She gained prominence as co-presenter of ITV's Posh Frocks and New Trousers and was a familiar face on entertainment and game shows including Have I Got News For You and Shooting Stars. In addition to her television career, Giles was an accomplished author. Her debut novel, Birthday Girls, was a bestseller, and she published several other works. She also made a mark on radio, contributing to BBC Radio 4's Loose Ends and Just a Minute. Giles retrained as a counselor and psychotherapist, working in Brighton and London. She was a patron of Amaze Brighton, a charity for parents of children with special needs. Giles's diverse talents and commitment to helping others through her counseling and charity work leave a lasting legacy, remembered for her dynamic presence in various fields. Number two, Willie Hernandez, the celebrated Puerto Rican relief pitcher in Major League Baseball, passed away at the age of 69 on November 20th at his home in Sebring, Florida. Born on November 14, 1954, in Aguada, Puerto Rico, Hernandez rose to prominence with the Detroit Tigers, leading them to a World Series championship in 1984. Hernandez's illustrious career in baseball began with the Philadelphia Phillies in 1973. He gained recognition for his powerful pitching, especially after joining the Detroit Tigers in 1984. That year, he achieved the rare feat of winning both the American League Cy Young Award and the American League Most Valuable Player Award, becoming only the third player in Major League history to win these awards and a World Series title in the same season. Throughout his 13-season career, Hernandez appeared in 744 games, primarily as a relief pitcher, amassing a record of 70-63, a 3.38 ERA, 788 strikeouts, and 147 saves. Following his retirement, he returned to Puerto Rico, where he ran a construction business and later a cattle ranch. Hernandez's passing is a significant loss to the baseball community, marking the end of an era for one of the sport's most accomplished pitchers. Number one, Phil Quartararo, a prominent figure in the music industry and former executive at major record labels, passed away at 67 on November 22nd from pancreatic cancer in Los Angeles. Born in Brooklyn, New York, on January 7, 1956, Quartararo's passion for music emerged early, leading him to book music acts in high school and continue his pursuits at Syracuse University. Quartararo's career in the record industry began at A&M Records in 1977, later moving to RCA Records. His breakthrough came at Island Records, where he played a key role in introducing U2 to America. In 1986, he joined the team launching Virgin Records America and rose to become president and CEO, working with artists like the Spice Girls, Smashing Pumpkins, and Janet Jackson. In 1997, Quartararo became president of Warner Brothers Records, contributing to the success of artists including Linkin Park, Madonna, and Green Day. He later joined EMI Music, focusing on marketing and launching recordings of artists like Coldplay and Nora Jones. His death marks the loss of a visionary leader in the music industry, remembered for his promotion-minded approach and commitment to artist rights. 
watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.